reasons for the difference between the balance as shown in the first book and that shown in the first book. Checks paid into the bank, but not cleared. This is a tiny difference. If you notice, what they say is the reasons for difference are of two types. One is timing and one is errors in record. Timing differences and errors in record. Errors could be in both, in either the past book or the flash book. Checks paid into the bank but not cleared. As we mentioned before, we deposit a check on a particular day, but it may take a couple of days for clearing. It may take more, a couple of weeks in case of some checks, like we said in case of outstation check. And therefore, while we record the transaction, on the day that we deposit the check, the bank records this transaction only when it is finally cleared. As a result, in the gap in between, it is possible that there is a difference on account of checks deposited but not cleared. We could just record all these differences as below. This is checks deposited but not cleared. Right? We assume these transactions have happened all on 1st of January. What happens in the cash book? And what happens in the past? Checks deposited. Let us also assume that both have a balance of rupees 10,000. So they are, they start with the same balance. Checks have been deposited. Let us say the checks were worth 5,000 were deposited on 1st and they were cleared on the 6th. So on 1st, Checks deposited is recorded in the cash book, but there is no recording in the past book. Check issued, but not presented for payment. We issue a check, our balance comes down. The moment we issue a check, we record it in the cash book, and our bank balance comes down. But this would be recorded in the past book only later. <clears throat> so checks issue. The moment we issue a check, a balance comes down. Let us assume that we issue checks for around 7,000 rupees, but there is no change in the last book. So our balances is changing. The balance in our books, in the cash book, is changed, but the balance in the past book remains at 10,000. Talk of interest allowed by the bank. What does it mean by interest allowed by the bank? It is the interest which is credited to the account. It is interest which is given by the bank. What happens in case of this interest? If interest is given by the bank, the account holder gets to know only when he gets the bank statement. So interest allowed will be entered in the passbook on first but was not entered in the cash book, assuming we have not yet got the bank statement. As a result of this interest of say 200 rupees, the passbook balance has gone up by 200, but there is no such record in the cash book. Interest and expenses charged by the bank. If they charge, interest and expenses are charged by the bank, we come to know only on preparation of the bank statement. So what happens is interest on other charges that is assumed is an amount of 500 which the bank has deducted from our account but we are not aware of it as on first chapter. Interest in dividends 
are collected by the bank, interest and dividends collected by the bank increase our balance. In the past, interest and dividends collected. So the bank has directly collected. We are not aware. And let us say this amounts to 1200. Direct payments by the bank. Direct payments by the bank. The bank has made payment on our behalf. Maybe due to some standing instructions. Payments by bank. This is let us say an amount of two pounds. Direct payment into the bank by a customer. Direct payment into the bank by a customer. So the customer has directly put money, deposit directly by customer. Dishonor of a bill discounted with the bank. A bill was discounted with the bank. We recorded it in our books. The bank recorded it in its books. However, there was a dishonor. We do not know about the dishonor. The bank has debited our account on, on account of this dishonor. Let us assume this is 2000. Bills collected by the bank on behalf of the customer, money has come in. Four thousand. And there could be errors in recording. We're not discussing the errors. The errors could be casting, the errors could be in posting, it could be in omission, etc. etc. If you notice, as a result of this, the balance is 8,000 here. Now this indicates that in the beginning of first, he had a balance of 10,000 in both the cash book and the passbook. But by the end of the day, we have different balances, one of 8,000 and one of 16,900. A bank reconciliation statement would just try to reconcile the difference between this 8,000 as per cash book and the 16,900 as per the cost. And what are the causes of difference? All these are the causes of difference. The checks deposited is a cause of difference. The checks issued but not presented is a cause of difference. The interest allowed by the bank, the interest in charges charged by the bank, the interest to be collected by the bank, payments made by the bank, deposit directly by the bank, dishonor of a bill, bills collected, these are all causes of differences. We can further understand. <coughs> Each and every item. Checks issued but not presented for payment. <clears throat> the entry is made in the cash book the moment the check is issued. Therefore, the balance decreases. But in the passbook, no entry is made till the checks are presented for payment. Therefore, the balance remains the same as before. When checks are paid into the bank but not yet cleared, when checks are paid into the bank, immediately entry is made in the cash book. 
and the balance increases. But no entry is made here till the checks are cleared and the balance remains the same. Similarly, when we come to interest allowed by the bank or a dividend which is collected by the bank, the bank records it immediately and the bank balance increases. But no entry is made till the passbook is checked. Interest and expenses are charged by the bank. When these expenses are charged, entry is immediately made in the bank's books. Balance comes down, but in the cash book, no entry is made till the passbook is checked very well. Direct payments by the bank. In direct payments by the bank. No entry is made till the passbook is checked. But in the passbook, entry is immediately made and the balance is declared. In the cash book, the balance remains the same. Direct payments into the bank by a customer. Again, the entry is made here. The passbook balance increases. The cash book remains the same as before. No entry is made till passbook is checked. When there is a dishonor of the bill similarly, immediately entry is made. The passbook balance comes down and the cash book balance remains the same till the passbook is checked, passbook is verified and the account holder is aware of the result. When bills are collected by the bank on behalf of the customer, again, entry is made in the bank's books immediately and the balance increases. But no entry is made in the cash book till the passbook is checked. Is checked. The balance remains the same, passbook is increased. This is what happens with effect. 